Let's talk about the new moon in Capricorn, exact on January 11th at 3.57 a.m. Pacific time. So this new moon is at 20, almost 21 degrees of Capricorn, and it's significant because this is the last new moon in Capricorn of our lifetimes that will also feature Pluto in Capricorn. And it means that it's co-present is the word for it. And we say that when they're in the same sign. And this is the last one of our lifetimes because Pluto is a very slow moving planet and it's about to enter the sign of, of Aquarius on January 21st. And this marks the beginning of a new era. And Pluto will retrograde back into the final degree of Capricorn from September 1st to November 20th this year. But this new moon in Cap is the last the last one with Pluto and Capricorn. And so that is a big deal because when we have a new moon at the tail end of a really life-changing, world-changing, long-term outer planet transit like Pluto and Capricorn, which has been going on since 2008, 16 years, when we have a new moon that is marking the end of this transit, it feels like a moment of release and recognition and an opportunity for us to purge some of the emotional material that's been culminating for a very long time and that happens personally and collectively and this new moon is just nine degrees away from pluto which is at 29 degrees of capricorn and it's also forming a really lovely trine to uranus and taurus and a lovely sextile to neptune in pisces hours after the new moon it will move on and form a conjunction to pluto and eventually a square to jupiter and we also have a moon and sun and again the sun and the moon are at the same degree during a new moon and we also have the sun and moon forming a square to the lunar nodes the north node in aries and the south node in libra so i know that's a lot of words and a lot of jargon but the essence of what i'm feeling from this lunation is that there is an opportunity for us to feel some degree of acceptance and transcendence, possibly around emotional material that's been haunting us for a long time. And that could quickly be followed hours later by fear. Like the fear that comes up after you break up with someone and then you question if that was the right decision. Or after you leave a job and then you ask yourself if you've just done something disastrous and you maybe think about going back. And so there's that feeling of ambivalence that's coming up for me where we might be ready to let go of something potentially quite big. Um, possibly feelings of scarcity or feelings of lack or feelings of kind of more internalized capitalist beliefs around like punishment and <sighs> expectation, expecting the worst of ourselves and other people, expecting outrageous things of ourselves, outrageous levels of productivity from ourselves, expecting hyper independence from ourselves. All of that stuff could be relevant themes for you. It could also be that we're sort of confronting more of the shadow material that we haven't yet processed from the last 16 years as Pluto has been moving through the Capricorn area of our charts. And I will say that I'm not can't remember if I already mentioned this, but Pluto, when it retrogrades back into 29 cap from September through November, it's going to be covering the terrain it's in now. And so whatever themes emerge for you personally around this new moon and whatever themes emerge for us collectively is very likely to come back around later this year. So it'd be worthwhile to make a note of it and to pay close attention to the emotions that you feel, to the events that you see occurring within and around you, and understand that this moment is an invitation to let go and to surrender and to maybe loosen our grip on some of the stuff that's been haunting us for a long time. But it's also very likely to recur later this year and to come back around and to kind of be the final confrontation with some of the stuff that has been like nagging and haunting. So I say all of that and I'm breathless um, in part just to prepare you because when we have as the sun and the moon engaged with Pluto in the way that they will be and engaged with the lunar nodes in the way that they will be, there can be some intensity, some emotional intensity that comes up. And that's not going to be true for everyone. Again, it depends on a zillion different factors, especially how Pluto, the moon and the sun are aspecting your own natal chart. Um, but we also have 
Mercury forming a square to Neptune. And so in addition to some like emotional intensity, there could be a feeling of confusion and a feeling of disorientation. And so that could look at a practical level, like maybe something triggers us or maybe something causes us to dissociate or to try to grasp for clarity when it's really not available to us. So it would be worthwhile to do your best to stay with your feelings and to not grasp for facts this kind of transit and these kinds of astrological energies can cause us to want like the hard facts. And maybe the only facts that will be available to us throughout this time are the sort of internal evidence that we have of our own self-worth. And that seems random probably, but what I mean by that is that when we have a Newman and Cap and at the end of Pluto in Capricorn, scarcity can be a very real feeling that comes up. We might feel a huge amount of lack and that might be disproportionate. It might not actually be reflective of reality. And at a time like this, it can be helpful for us to lean into the evidence that we do already have, like the way that we've behaved. Looking back on the last 16 years and considering the ways that you've moved with integrity, looking internally and asking yourself what type of resources and values you have within you and using those as a reference point for all of the growth and all of the beauty that exists within you. And so looking to evidence like that can be helpful during a new moon in Capricorn because Capricorn likes facts and likes the tangible. But again, it's going to be difficult to find facts and the tangible outside of ourselves because it's in the context of this Mercury-Neptune square. So things will feel jumbled. We might get confusing interactions with people. We might face disinformation. We might encounter a lot of illusion and need to kind of come back to ourselves and consider the ways that we can be the sort of authority for ourselves and for our own truth. And so I don't want to say much more because that's a lot of information, but I will say that if you want to dig deeper, I'm going to be hosting a new moon circle on January 10th on Wednesday evening, and we'll be unpacking some of our shame and feelings around scarcity and challenges with self-worth and doing a little exercise to help free ourselves from some of the imposed burdens that we might place on ourselves or that like our society places on us. And I'm also offering Pluto and Aquarius readings. And there's an astrology only option and an Akashic Records option. Both will help you really tune into the power of Pluto and Aquarius for you, the transformative potential, and also hopefully prepare you a bit for some of the challenges that you might encounter throughout this very, very long era. So both of those are available via the link in my bio, and I am wishing you a cathartic new moon and one that really helps you kind of embrace yourself with compassion as best you can. Stay well, loves. Bye.